allergies can make you feel miserable. Up to 60% of us suffer from seasonal allergies. Joining us now with some natural solutions for allergies is Dr. Aaron Ernst from Cornerstone Health Center. Good morning to you, Dr. Ernst. Thanks for being here yes, today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Okay, so as I said, up to 60% of us suffer from seasonal allergies. Can you briefly explain why that percentage is so high and has been climbing over the years? Yes, yeah, so, you know, if you go back to 1900s, it was about 10% of Americans that had seasonal allergies. Today, we're 50, 60%. So in my belief, the reason for that is we're becoming more immunocompromised daily because we have higher exposure to toxins. We have a diet system that's not really designed to boost our immune system. So as we live our lives, our immunity drops, so therefore our allergies climb. Okay, that makes sense. So normally, if we have allergy symptoms, we take an antihistamine, most of us do. You say th that's fine, but the issue with it is that it doesn't get to the root cause of the problem. Yes, so again, an antihistamine is gonna help you symptomatically. So you can pop one, you'll feel good, but then when the antihistamine wears off, your allergies are gonna return. Root causes are quite involved. There's multiple factors, mostly regulating on how the immune system works. If the immune system is overactive, you have a hyper response, therefore you have the symptoms of allergies. So we need to address the immune system rather than just covering symptoms with the antihistamine. Okay, you have some ways to do that, some natural solutions for yes. allergies. The first thing you want to talk about is D3? Yeah, so the research is quite clear that vitamin D3 is inversely connected to your allergies. So if your vitamin D levels are low, your allergies are really high. So if you elevate your vitamin D levels, then your allergy response goes down, and that's simply because vitamin D helps to modulate the immune system. Okay, um, let's talk about probiotics and gut health. You yes. say this is also a big factor. It is, again, simply because in the research, they've determined that your gut holds about 70% of your immune system's strength. Mm -hmm. So if your gut has been affected by either antibiotic use in the past or your diet, if it's heavy in gluten or dairy, you can create something that is now being termed a leaky gut that causes a deficiency in your immune system. Therefore, you get this overactive response to either pollen or you know, ragweed or whatever because it creates this antibody reaction. So your body's actually attacking itself and you get the symptoms that feel like an allergic oh, response. Oh, yeah, we don't want a leaky gut. <laughs> that does not sound like something no. we want to have. No, no leaky gut. Um, you also want to talk about DHQ. Can you explain what it's, that is? It's a type of quercetin, actually. So it's a specific plant-derived quercetin. and Unlike a antihistamine, which is just addressing symptoms, what quercetin is, is it's an immune modulator. Now, I think it's important to talk about immune modulation. That means if you have an overactive immune response, quercetin can bring it down. But if you have an underactive immune response, quercetin can bring it up. So it actually does whatever your body needs. And it works similar like an antihistamine. So you get the effects, but you also address the root cause. Okay, and these are all supplements that we can take? Yeah, they're available pretty much over the counter at any major vitamin store. Okay, bromelain is another yes, one. Yes, correct. It's an enzyme that's actually found in the stem of pineapple. And you know, the unique thing is you buy a pineapple, most people cut that out and toss it. Well, right. Technically, you should chew on this stem and suck all the enzymes out because again, it's naturally antihistamine, it's an anti-inflammatory, and it helps to enzymatically modulate the immune system. Isn't that something? Okay, and then you offer something at Cornerstone, um, a little allergy yes, bomb. Yes, call it an you allergy will. bomb, yeah. yes. So it's, it's sort of an at-home created uh, pill that you can make. So you need to get what's called a veggie cap. Basically, it's an empty supplement capsule. And then you take lemon, lavender, and peppermint oils, and you drip that into the veggie capsule, and you can take that when you're in the throes of an allergy response. So if you're congested, you know, runny nose, hay fever, etc., five drops of each lemon, lavender, peppermint into a veggie capsule, swallowed, and within about 15, 20 minutes, it's almost like a, a natural clearance. It's amazing, it's yes. amazing. I'll, I'm willing to try all of this. Uh, by the way, Dr. Ernst is holding a free How to Heal Yourself webinar. It's happening on Saturday, October 17th at 10 o'clock that morning. To register, you can call or text 704-906-2094. Again, 704-906-2094. 2094. You can also visit the website askdrernst.com. Thank you so much for your time yes, this thank morning. You. It's been a pleasure.